City of Davis looking for some bright ideas when it comes to lighting city streets. Yeah, tonight we're getting answers on how the city is asking people to judge the look of some new lights and pick a winner. It's a battle of the bulbs in downtown Davis. The city is asking people to vote on the new lights they like best. I think there should be more lights downtown. Davis previously had twinkle style decorative bulbs strung throughout the trees, but those were removed for maintenance last year. Now the city is bringing new lights back and this intersection at 2nd and E streets is the testing ground. Three different kinds of lighting styles are in the running, each installed on a different side of the block. It kind of shows that like there's like different types of lights lights that you can have on this corner. There's a string of LED bulbs strung through the trees. It gives it a good vibe. I like it actually across the street. The second option, a string of lights hanging from poles. I think the lighting from the poles is best because it's right there at curbside and it gets closest to the intersection and the final choice laser beams projecting moving dots of light up into the trees. I do feel like that's like the most interesting because like after I did get to notice it, it looks very pretty. It, it's great to look at, but it does nothing for safety. Outdoor lighting in Davis is a political hot topic. In 1998, the city passed a dark sky ordinance to protect stargazing, but the lack of lighting received more scrutiny following last year's fatal stabbing series. Many people say the streets should be brighter. I was walking from the library just right now and it's kind of dark. I actually cannot see very well or like the faces of people walking by. The city says these new lights will primarily be for decorative purposes, but they could also offer additional safety for people out at night. More lights is always good. All right, got some uh, picking to do. People are asked to vote online. There's a survey there which runs through the end of the month. We've got a link to that poll on our website at CBS13.com.